I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars, Virgo. Now, if money is on your mind, and why wouldn't it be, then you're in tune with the stars. Now, firstly, there's a full moon in your solar second house. This is all to do with money and possessions. Now, also, also this area, particularly with the um, full moon, which can stir up your emotions, can get you sort of thinking and about where you are in life and where you would like to be in life. So try not to get too down on yourself or critical about your progress. Um, and Because, you know, you are where you are. Today is a new day. Tomorrow is a new day. And every single day you can decide to do things differently. And it's important that you don't judge your um, yourself on the progress that you made. So you, you see all the beautiful Virgo um, and that we all love and love to have as friends and you know how much money you have in the bank or how far you've come from with work or whatever that you where your value system is is a whole separate issue okay it's not who you are now um, there is a lot of activity going on in your solar um, eighth house. Now this is the area where it's also um, an area of finances. It's all, it's very much an area where you can be presented with with resources from other people. Other people can reach out to basically um, help you. Or you know, for instance, if you're going to a bank to ask for a loan, then it's a very good, very good, you know, indication that. Um, you can get that through or other people can come on board as partners and help you just move forward so now there's a lot of aspects this week some challenging some supportive so expect there to be some ups and downs you may not get news straight away on something you may have to sort of wait you may sort of think that it's not coming through and then all of a sudden the the you know silver linings there um, one thing's for sure, it seems like how it starts off is not how it ends. So be flexible, be open to change, be open to negotiation. And um, by the time we get to the end of the week, um, there's a very nice connection with Venus, sextiles, Jupiter, and Jupiter being in your area of business and Venus in your eighth house of resources, then. Uh, don't judge too quickly, I think is probably the <clears throat> advice here. Don't judge too quickly what goes on at the start of the week. By the time you get to the end of the week, and that aspect is on the 31st, on Sunday, then you could be looking at a totally different scenario and you'll be happy with it. Okay, that's the good news. Hope that all comes true for you. And... Um, Okay, so have a great week, and I'm Jennifer Angel. It's certainly a very progressive time at the moment. So um, enjoy the week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.